Hey guys, what's going on? So I know these days a lot of us are spending a lot more time at home and we've decided to catalog some of the challenges we've been facing being home all day, every day with our birds. So Zoom meetings, we've had a lot of Zoom meetings. Brendan's had them almost daily with school. We talk to friends and family and it's just part of life now. Connecting with the outside world is over the computer. Now it can definitely be a pain trying to have a Zoom meeting class, whatever with birds around. Now, sometimes it's not a big deal if you're just talking to family or friends and having the birds flying around and landing on your head and whatnot. But when Brendan's having his school classes, he can't have any distractions. And so the birds have to be locked up in their cages and they often are not a big fan of that. So we have to cover them up to keep them quiet. So the more we've been at home, the more the birds have sort of learned the layout of the apartment. Um, in the past, they've only ever stayed downstairs. We had pillow upstairs briefly when Pearl first came home. We quarantined them and had pillow upstairs and Pearl downstairs. And in the past, we've taken them upstairs once in a while just to have them in the rooms upstairs, but they had never actually gone upstairs on their own. And the first time Pearl actually discovered the stairs and sort of walked up the stairs was kind of a big deal. Now, however, Pearl has no problem simply flying around the corner up the stairs into whichever room she chooses upstairs. Oh, Pillow does not do that, he stays downstairs, um, but when Pearl's upstairs and he's downstairs, they will often call and speak to each other, and it's quite loud. You hear one chirping upstairs, and immediately the next one's chirping downstairs, back and forth, back and forth. They are having contact calling to make sure, even though they're out of eyesight of one another, that they're both still there and okay. We would normally take Pearl out regularly about once a month to get her nails trimmed. Because of the pandemic and the quarantine now, we can't. So her nails have gotten longer than they normally would. And we've gotten this pet nail grinder. We haven't used it yet, but this is in our near future. So another issue is we have a lot more recreational activities that we do inside now. We exercise inside, we do jigsaw puzzles on the floor, and the birds always want to be part of it. And suffice it to say, there's just many activities that are better off done without birds present. On the puzzle. <laughs> no, that. Oh, no, 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 So since we're home a lot more now, we are watching a lot more TV than we normally would. 
and the birds are obviously in their cages right next to the TV. And if they are not out, or sometimes even when they are out, they like to chirp. And that chirping frequently interferes with our hearing of the television. It's especially difficult if the actors are a little mumbly or if anybody has accents. It's just very hard to hear when you've got birds chirping and having their own conversation over top of your TV. So we've gotten in the habit of watching things with subtitles. But there is one very good thing about being home alone all day with birds. So let us know what your personal experience has been being home with your birds during quarantine, the good and the bad. Leave it in the comments below. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.